Hey, how you doing? It's Jack Dryden here from Zen Sport International. And in this short video, I'm going to briefly explain one of the areas we work in. Who are we? We're Zen Sport. We're an international team of sports performance specialists. We help Olympians, athletes, players, and teams get to the next level and improve their performance in a multitude of ways. What we do is still new and probably very different, probably to anything you've ever come across before. It's called Energetic Sports Psychology, or ESP for short. And in a nutshell, in our collective 70 plus years of search and study, it is the, uh, this is the single most effective tool that athletes and players can have at their disposal to improve their performance with. So this is one of the three main areas that we use ESP for, natural performance enhancement. And what you're looking at here is a graph of how what we do, ESP, compares to the other options available to you uh, as a sports professional. And interestingly, what me and my colleagues are seeing is that athletes and teams are crying out for something new, something different to what's already available to help them improve their performance, prevent them from dropping into slumps, and in general, help their game. You know, you talk about the words performance enhancement to most people, and what typically comes to mind are things like steroids, things like doping, substance abuse. And to be quite frank, it's pretty sad. And what we're hearing is that so many sports people are sick and tired uh, of that being the main option, or at least the main perceived option to enhance performance that's available. Well, now with ESP, athletes can have what they've been looking for. And if you're wondering why you've never heard of ESP, there are two main reasons. Firstly, it's still very new, and especially in the form we've perfected it to for use in sports, it hasn't been around very long at all. And secondly, most of the Olympic and professional level athletes and teams do not want you to know about it. They want to keep it stum. They want to keep it under wraps and away from their rivals because it's so good. So going up the left on the y-axis, we're measuring your ROI, your return on your investment, and the results that these things get you. And we're very specific about the kind of results that we're talking about here. We're talking about immediate changes, long-lasting improvements, and perhaps most importantly, uh, I think measurable results, quantifiable, tangible, measurable differences uh, of which there is no doubt of the cause. So that's what we're measuring up here. And down along the x-axis on the bottom, uh, we are charting your cost, your expenditure as an individual or as a team, club or an organization, and also the risk of each option. So not just the risk that you don't get the gains that you want, but the risk that your performance might get worse as a result. So over here we have traditional training, conventional coaching, standard practice that almost every athlete takes part in regularly to get better in their sport. And this is pretty self-explanatory really. You know, it's very low risk both to your wallet uh, or your treasury and your performance and your health. But there's also, interestingly, there's quite a cap. There's a bit of a limit on the kind of improvements that you can make from training alone. And the reason for this is that this is a purely physical activity here. Now, the problem with that is that your physical behavior is a byproduct of your mental and emotional state. In other words, how you train, how much effort you put in, the type of training you do, and for how long, it's all governed ultimately by your mental state. And so without any kind of work in that area, uh, you, can bet, uh, you can bet David Beckham's boots that you're not, you're not gonna get the kind of results from your traditional physical practice that you could be getting. Uh, I'm actually running out of time here, so I'm gonna cut this video short and go over the rest in part two. There will be a link somewhere on this video for you to get to it. But have a think about what I've covered here and let me know your thoughts. You know, shoot some feedback my way. I'm always interested in hearing from you if you're an athlete or a sports professional, uh, or if you have any questions, comments, or criticisms. Head over to zensport.info to learn more about how we can help you get to the next level. I'm Jack Dryden. Stay tuned for part two.